Hello Stamper, welcome to French's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. And today I'm gonna to show you an easy card using the embossing paste. But this time we're gonna be using the brick and I'm gonna show you how to make the brick even more realistic. So we're gonna just do partial of the brick. I won't do the whole thing because we're gonna put the flower on the side. So it's just to say that you don't have to put uh, cover the entire thing you can add just bits and pieces that is perfectly fine I'm looking for my uh, temporary tape I cannot find it so I'm going to be using a um, post-it note here just because I don't want this to move and then I'm going to put my brick over here it's no right and wrong like I say we're just going to do partial one thing that I suggest though that it's you got um, container with water by you so when you're done you can uh, toss your um, tools in there so it won't get hard and hard to wash or you can go at the sink and rinse it right away but like for me right now I don't have time to go at the sink one more tools that you're going to need that you can find in your kitchen I bet it's a toothpick you can use the paper uh, piercer porker but I like a toothpick better for some reason so cheap tool to use so I get this here we're going to be using just plain paste I'm not adding color on this one it's completely um oops see after your uh, jar it's open you want to make sure that you push everything at the bottom so you keep it you know um not coming hard so I'm just going to use a little bit here and we're going to see so I'm going to put some right here like I said I won't cover the entire uh, paper it's just oops, this I get a chunk here I think I didn't close my jar good at one time here we go and I'm gonna put the bit there That's pretty much good for the look that I'm going here. Here we go. Here's a chunk. So you want to make sure that you close your jar tight. And it wouldn't be a bad idea neither to uh, put it in a Ziploc bag, your jar. I think that would even save it longer. Now I'm going to drop that there. Make sure this is, see. No, I still have a hair book. Here we go. Make sure it should good. Now we're going <clears> to, <throat> before we remove this, we're going to use our magic uh, tools there. That is the toothpick. And what you're going to do, it's really just poke and give some little stroke to while you, you uh, poke. And that's going to make a world of a difference to the re. Um, to show the brick it's look very realistic when you get those i know we get like the smooth brick but i was looking went for my walk looking at us with brick and we get a lot of those rough brick here and this really do the trick so here it is so pretty much good now and really, I put plenty. I just wanted a little bit, but I went happy, I guess, trying to get that chunk out. <coughs> I even wiped my toothpick. I didn't. I don't have to do that. Toothpick are cheap, but... Oh, I see one. It's not. Okay, now we're going to remove this. Put that in my bath water here. Et voila. Now, if you get some on the side here, what I do, I just take my finger and wipe it. That looked pretty good. Okay, let's remove this here. I should have brought my rag. Here it is. Now, just to finish the car, we're going to do very simple. This is for a blog op stamping 101 technique. And, um, I'm just going to leave it just the way it is there. Now, I got, I got my uh, daisy punch here. We're going to punch three petals. 
and then we're going to punch four petals and this is melon mumbo so three and four and then I'm going to use my half inch circle and I'm going to cut this, punch this. Now we're going to mount that together so I'm going to use a glue dot and really it looks better if you sponge. So let me reach for my dauber here. Uh, the daisy look um, it pop out better if you punch, uh, not punch, but sponge. So I'm just going to do the tip. Here we go. It's just bring a little bit to your card. Just sponge the tip of it. Now we're going to take a glue dot. So I'm taking the three petal one. Take this. Put that on top of this here to go fill the so it's going to look kind of a cone flower now i'm going to use my dot here and put that right here about now i'm going to use um cut the tip here i want that like you're looking down on it so i'm just going to come right here and here to go a little bit more that it go under voila now i i get the stamp set the daisy delight that matched that i'm using the one with the little leaves and i'm going to curl this here so so it's mirror image so i have to curl the other way that i want it i want it to go that way so i have to curl it this way when i turn it boom it's going in the right direction so um this take about 10-15 oh, minutes to dry and really it depends in your area if you're in a dry climate it's going to dry faster me being in the south well it dry a little bit slower that is it Gonna stamp that right there, on, right on top of the brick. It's just a vine going up, kind of. Now I'm gonna take a dimensional and we're gonna pop that at the top here, upside down. There we go. And Here we go, my friend, and I'm going to put that on a piece, uh, I mean, on a white card base that measure four and a quarter by 11, score at five and a half, and voila, and I'm going to have my greeting inside. I'm going to have all the measurement on my blog just above. It's going to bring you there, plus a blog up. Very simple card, and I bet you can see the brick, the little uh, dots in it. It make it very realistic, my friend. So this is it for now. Hope you enjoyed this. Till next time, happy stamping.